Hello, hello, hello. Um, well, um, if you haven't uh, heard, uh, I was finally on RuPaul's Drag Race last night, so I want to say thank you to um, everybody who supported me before this all happened, to everybody who saw me last night, and um, I can't put in words how... Uh, extremely grateful I am. The response I've been getting back from everybody has been over, just overwhelmingly positive. It's it's something I um, I really needed. So I just want to say thank you to um, everybody who has stuck with me through um, from the very first mimic video I did back in 2010 of season two and then of season three and then went back to season one because I did not do a video for season one and then uh, season four and for the season five video which I just released a couple uh, months ago. So I want to say thank you first and foremost to uh, everybody who um, you know has been watching my videos and I'm extremely grateful for you. I don't plan on forgetting any of you. <laughs> not that you know anything big is just gonna happen it's just been a very overwhelmingly positive experience it's I'm still trying to deal with it and of course I want to say thank you to the showrunners at RuPaul's Drag Race it was very difficult keeping this a secret for I think a whole month and of course I want to thank RuPaul um I have no idea why um the I'm, I'm gonna keep this very short but I'm just gonna say um I have no idea why the the contestants of RuPaul's Drag Race have been so um, a favorite of mine? I guess because as someone who likes to do imitations, I think if you ever decide to do um, drag, there's something quirky about you, and as an impersonator, that's something that we need. We need people with quirks. I mean, no normal boring person is ever gonna, you know, look at a pile of makeup and say, hmm. I wonder what I could do with that color and that color if I put it on my face. No one could, uh, no one normal and boring would ever look at, like, you know, a piece of cloth or clothing from a thrift shop and say, hmm, I wonder if I could make that look like a million bucks. And I guess the point I'm trying to make is there's something about drag queens that is just very quirky and that's something that I need as an impersonator because the key to being a really good impersonator or a good mimic is finding someone with that quirk and that character and I find that a lot in drag queens and so that's why I've you know have been so dedicated to doing the the mimic series based on uh, the girls of RuPaul's Drag Race so anyways thanks again and um, this is definitely something I will cherish for the rest of my life